Hello, my name is Barbara Samo and this is a curly content video. It's been a hot minute since I actually made a video, but I was sent some products by a brand called Olu and I wanted to sit tight and try them on a few washes before I actually went into reviewing them and actually shared them with you guys. And here we have the Olu original shampoo, conditioner, curl cream and the oil. The imposter in this routine is my favourite tried and tested John Frieda Frizzy's Dream Curls Curl Revive. The only original are a Welsh company and being based in Ireland, I just had an affinity with another kind of Celtic company. So I was excited to see what the products were like. Off the bat, I was a little bit nervous that they weren't going to be as moisturizing for my hair. Um, but this, these curls were achieved using the products that I'm gonna use in this video. So I'm really happy with them. So I go through in this video, my pre-poo routine, my shampoo, my conditioner, my wet styling and then I also go through my diffusing and then the final product. I also go through something new that I've tried not only for fluffing up my curls but for brushing my curls too. I don't wet brush anymore, I actually dry detangle. So I go through that in this video. I hope you enjoy it and let's kick into it. I'm going to dry brush my hair with a synthetic bristled hairbrush like this. And I'm going to go in with the Olu hair oil to pre-poo my hair. Why do I dry brush my hair now instead of finger detangling or using a paddle brush in the shower? I dry detangle my hair because I find that because I've got fine curly hair, using a bore brush, I'm gonna brush it in a minute and show you, it just means that the natural oils in my hair get spread evenly from the root to the tip of my hair to the ends I should say so that's why I dry brush I also find that I get way more shedding if I actually detangle my hair in the shower with my fingers a lot of fine curly girls have shared this online and I watched a video from by Mains by Mel and she actually went through different detangling methods for different types of curly hair and if you have 3B fine curly hair medium porosity low density like myself you're going to want to dry brush your curls out because you're gonna have way less shedding. And I just find that my curls clump nicer. I don't have to um, kind of brush continuously. If I detangle my hair in the shower with my fingers, I just find that I just have to keep on detangling. Whereas if I do it at this stage, if I do it before I start my curly routine, then I find that I have way less brushing to do. And I'm going to put a few drops of the Olu original hair oil. You apply it into soaking wet hair, or it says dry hair here, and go just from tip to root. So I'm going to get a few. It smells really nice. I really like this brand. I'm literally going to put like a tiny, tiny blob on my hair. And then do as the instructions say and just work it through. I like to do my little twists at the end of my hair to really make sure the oils get soaked into my strands. And now I'm gonna start my curly routine, my washing routine. So I'm gonna go in with the cleansing shampoo and then the clarifying conditioner. So just a few notes on these. The shampoo is you meant to use it twice, um, concentrating on the root and then rinse. I've been using these products for my last, for my past four washes. So I'm only gonna go in once with the clarifying and um, cleansing shampoo. Um, in this there's argan oil and coconut oil. I've been using this for the past like few weeks and I haven't noticed any buildup on my hair considering there's coconut oil. Usually when I see coconut oil on the back of a bottle, I'm like, whoa, don't come near me. But um, no, like this has been really good. So um, I'm definitely pleased with this. And then again, with the clarifying condition, I just find that even though this too has coconut oil and argan oil, it's just not too heavy on my hair. So let's go into the shower, get the shampoo on, and then I'm gonna leave the 
clarifying conditioner on for a few minutes and then we'll see how this works on my hair. Okay, we are ready for step two, which is styling. So I'm going to style my hair using the Olu Curl Cream. So, or oh, the Hoffen Gualt is actually a Welsh brand. So I just tried to pronounce a Welsh word there. I don't know if I succeeded. So my hair is quite wet. It's, I would say, 80% wet. I don't like to go in with overly dry or overly wet hair. I like it to be a happy medium. A trick that I do when I have just taken my hair out of my t-shirt, I use a cotton t-shirt, is I dip my Demon brush into water, um, just to add some moisture to it. So, and just to give my hair extra slip, all I have in here is it's just water and it's the residue of the conditioner. I've washed all of the conditioner out. But as you can see, my hair's pinging back. It's happy. Take some of the curl cream. I'm going to take a tiny bit. It says in the instructions to use a small bit and then work your way up. So I'm going to pass. I'm going to pay attention to that because if you use too much, there's no going back. You will have a greasy schlick. So I'm just working through. I'm pulling my curls. I'm lifting them off my head and I'm just... Again, I'm not being too harsh and letting them hang here. Bit of cream on my neck, which will look. And I'm going to do the other side. I have started sectioning my hair into smaller sections for styling my curls. I used to just do my lower half and then my crown. Now I split my hair into three to four sections, depending on how much time I have. And then just um, smooth hair with this demon brush i have a i don't use the wide demon brush because my hair is quite fine i find that it's just too big i like the thinner one because it it caters for your you know fine curlies and we are fine our hair is damn fine and the same for the back of my head i'm literally like bringing them up like so and down this reduces frizz too because it means that your, all of your hair shaft is moisturised. So you have less friction, which causes frizz. Doo -doo -doo. This is actually my favourite part. Lifting and away. And then I'm just going to let these guys hang. Let them chill out. Okie dokie. I'm gonna flip and flip and flip. The John Frieda Curl Revive Frizz Ease Dream Curls Mousse. This is Holy Grail stuff. Ooh. This is my favorite bit as well. I think this is every girl, every curly girl's favourite part is putting the mousse in. So I don't, sometimes I brush through the mousse, sometimes I don't. If I have dry brushed and then I've, if I've used a Denman brush, sometimes I don't even use a Denman brush, um, I won't. But if I haven't used a Denman brush, I brush through the mousse. Again, I just find that it works the product all throughout your head. Okay. I don't even do that much scrunching, if I'm absolutely honest. I do very little. I find that my curl pattern just sinks up quite nicely. If you find that you do need to give your hair a good scrunch, do. But I just find personally the moment my hair doesn't need too much scrunching and I find the more I scrunch it the less clumpy my curls actually are so I'm going to walk around the house and chill and let this air dry for a time and then I'm going to diffuse for about 15 minutes come back we're gonna scrunch out the crunch and see how this hairstyle turns out 
So my cast is mostly in and dry. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the Olu Original Oil and then I'm gonna pick my hair using a kind of an unconventional method. So I'm gonna put a tiny bit of the Olu Original hair oil on my hand. I already have a bit on there. I put a bit too much on there. And I'm gonna work this through my hair. I'm just gonna use a towel to get any excess off. So I lit I nearly have like dry hands, practically dry. I'm just gonna I'm actually like what I do is I don't like scrunch too harshly. I actually kind of like press the curls back onto my head. So one change I've gone through my curly girl kind of ways is that I, I'm not too harsh with my hair anymore. I used to be very like harsh with my hair. I don't know why. I think you see all those YouTube videos and the girls are crunching their hair and they're being quite, you know, hands on, which is absolutely fine. But I just find the gentler you are with your hair, the less you rush, the more time you give it, the more your hair will give back to you in terms of like, you won't have frizz. Um, you won't have hair shedding. Look at that. Oh, I really like these products. What does the oil smell like? Again, not synthetic. It has a lovely light smell. My hair doesn't feel greasy. So she is happy. That is one happy mane, look at that. I have a ring light, but there's no filter on this video. So you, these results are true to the lighting. I'm very happy with that, it looks so nice. Um, and then to get most of the cast, I just lightly pull. I've let my hair settle for a few minutes just to let it dry 100% and then just let it soak up any product that was in there. So what I've got is a head massager and I've taken away some of the prongs. This is coated in, so you can actually use it on your scalp. This has been like the holy grail um, for picking out my curls. Um, you can get these in Tiger or like any kind of gift store. And the way I discovered it was, um, I was just like massaging my head and my curls just came out really bouncy. So I thought, hmm, why don't I just try it um, when I actually have a wash day? So what I do is I just go into my roots, mainly on the lower layers of my hair. And what I'm doing is I'm not breaking the curls up. I'm literally just giving lift. This head massager has seen better days, but once you get a knack to it, you, um, when it's great for the back of the head, because it really gets in there, as you can tell, but it doesn't break up your curls too much. So first it's a little bit like, what am I doing? And then once you get the flow of it. And I also find that you don't have to disturb your curls too much because it really goes into the roots. So if you, if you were to buy one product, I would say it would be the only original oil because you can just use it for so many different things. It's not too heavy, it's not too greasy. And as you can see, it's left my curls lovely and moisturized. So yeah, I am very happy with this. So please keep an eye on my Instagram page for some more curly content. It was lovely to have you watch this and it was a pleasure to make this video. Bye.